Hello my friends, today we are going to visit New York, the third most populous state in the US, to see how farming and livestock work in this state. When it comes to the state of New York, we often think of the most modern city in the United States, with about 8.5 million people living and working there. However, New York is also one of the states with a fairly developed agricultural industry, with about 7.1 million acres of land used for farming and livestock. Famous agricultural products of this state are milk, cattle, calves, corn, and many other fruits. According to statistics, in 2021, in New York, there are about 33,000 farms and 753 farmers markets in operation. Of that, 34% of the state's farms are concentrated in the Finger Lake area, which is considered the agricultural center of the state. We are currently on a dairy farm in Wyoming County, Western New York State. It is home to more than 300 adult dairy cows. Every morning, these dairy cows will be herded to the pasture right next to the farm to freely feed for about three hours. Currently, in New York, there are about 3,500 dairy farms in operation and the number of dairy cows in the state is about 626,000 heads. Every day, each adult dairy cow will need to eat about 25 to 35 pounds of fresh grass to maintain milk production. In addition, other foods such as grain will also be used when they return to the farm. In the late afternoon, hundreds of dairy cows will be herded to the sheltered area where they will be fed more roughage and grain. This is the milking process at another dairy farm in New York. Here, about 800 dairy cows will be milked within three and a half hours. Each dairy cow here usually produces between six to eight gallons of milk per day. Once the milking process is complete, millions of pounds of milk will be transported to a factory about three miles away for processing and bottling before being sold on the market. With nearly 4,000 dairy farms in operation, each year New York produces about 15.7 billion pounds of milk and it is also the fourth largest milk producing state in the country. In addition, the dairy industry in the state also creates about 27,000 jobs each year. Next, we'll go to a duck egg farm in New York's Janice district, which is home to more than 400 ducks in the egg harvesting stage. Currently, there are about 87 active duck farms in New York, with about 1.3 million ducks. The majority of ducks here are raised in the state for the purpose of egg harvesting. With a nutritious diet, each duck at this farm can lay between 215 and 240 eggs per year. According to statistics, in 2021, in the United States, there will be about 31.3 million ducks raised for meat and eggs. In particular, the majority of duck farms across the country are concentrated in two states, Wisconsin and Indiana. Goodbye ranchers, we're going to a large cornfield in New York's Orange County to see how the harvest of corn goes on.
Today, corn is the state's main crop, with about 1.1 million acres planted annually, making New York the 17th state in the nation in terms of corn acreage. In New York, sweet corn is not as popular as in Florida or California. Instead, the bulk of corn production in the state is grain and silage. Annual sales of corn silage in New York is around $313 million, and corn makes up 60% of dairy feed in the state. When it comes to farms in New York, we cannot ignore apple farms because this is the second largest apple growing state in the United States, second only to Washington. Currently, in New York, there are about 700 apple farms of different sizes in operation, and each year the apple harvest from this state is about 613,000 tons. Farewell to the farms of Western New York State. We now go to a farm in Bolston Lake area to see how farmers produce millions of tons of peas here. Peas were amongst the first crops grown and harvested in New York. New York farmers harvest about 17,000 acres for peas each year. In New York, farmers will plant pea seeds outdoors in early to mid-April. Peas are commonly grown in fields ranging from 20 to 100 acres. November every year is usually the time when peas are harvested in this state. With these state-of-the-art harvesting machines, farmers here can harvest around 18,000 pounds of peas per hour. Once harvested, New York peas are usually shipped to the factory to be processed into frozen peas. Hello my friends, the agricultural fields of the United States are not only the workplaces of thousands of migrant workers, they are also the place where the world's leading modern harvesting machines operate. And in today's video, we are going to the fields to see how the process of harvesting some of the agricultural products works with modern agricultural machines. The first place we are going to visit in this video is a rice field in southwestern Louisiana. Mid-August is the time when the harvest takes place in most of the rice fields in Louisiana. Here, billions of pounds of rice will be harvested by this modern machine. Currently, about 427,000 acres of farmland in Louisiana is used for rice production, and this is the third place on the list of the most rice producing states in the United States. According to the USDA statistics, in 2021, farmers in the United States produced about 20.3 billion pounds of rice, and 67% of the country's rice production is produced in the states of Arkansas, California, and Louisiana. Every year, up to 80% of the rice production in the United States is consumed domestically, and the remaining 20% is exported to more than 120 countries worldwide. In a 2020 consumer survey in the United States, most respondents said that rice produced in Louisiana tasted far better than rice produced in other states. After harvesting, billions of pounds of rice will be trucked to warehouses for storage before being sold on the market. Here's what's going on at a tobacco nursery in North Carolina. 
At this nursery, millions of tobacco seeds will be incubated for three weeks before they are transferred to the fields. After about three weeks, millions of potato plants are ready to start a new life in the fields. The process of growing millions of tobacco plants in North Carolina is quite similar to growing millions of lettuce plants in Arizona or Florida. According to statistics in 2021, the tobacco growing area in the United States is about 218,000 acres, a decrease of about 200,000 acres compared to 2001. Tobacco harvesting will take place after about three months from planting. The end of July each year is the time when the tobacco harvest occurs in North Carolina. And this is also the time when about 1,800 immigrant workers flock to tobacco farms to work. These workers will cut tobacco plants and stack them together before transporting them to the warehouse. According to USDA statistics for 2021, US tobacco production is about 467 million pounds and 53% of that is produced in North Carolina. In recent years, China has always been the country with the largest tobacco production in the world, with about 2.1 million tonnes, ranked second by India with about 760,000 tonnes, and the United States ranks sixth in this world list. This is what goes on at a tobacco warehouse in North Carolina. Here, these plants will be dried before being transported to the factory. In 2021, about 249 billion cigarettes were sold in the United States, and the number of smokers nationwide is about 30.8 million. Next, we will go to a peanut farm in Texas to see how the process of harvesting thousands of tons of peanuts works. Initially, these peanut plants will be dug out of the ground and left to dry in the sun for about three days before the harvest is done. In 2021, about 280,000 acres of farmland in Texas was used to produce peanuts and this is the state with the second largest peanut growing area in the country. In first place is Georgia with about 790,000 tonnes. After about three days of drying in the sun, thousands of tonnes of peanuts will be harvested by these modern machines. The job of these machines is to separate the stem from the peanut tuber. According to statistics in 2021, US peanut production is about 6.4 billion pounds and about 50% of that is produced in Georgia. The harvested peanuts will be transferred to the tanks of these tractors. Next, they will be transferred to the truck and transported to the processing plant. According to the National Peanut Commission, each American consumes about 7.9 pounds of peanuts each year. In addition, each year the United States exports about 1.2 billion pounds of peanut butter to other countries, mainly Canada and Mexico. This is the ongoing harvest at a Brussels sprouts farm in San Mateo, California. According to statistics in 2020, there are 2,541 Brussels sprouts farms across the country, with an area of about 9,450 acres. The acreage grown for this vegetable is quite modest compared to other popular vegetables in the United States, such as lettuce or cabbage. Basically, the harvesting of Brussels sprouts is not too difficult because the most difficult stages have been done by this modern machine. The job of this machine is to cut the Brussels sprouts 
and then separate the stems from the sprouts. Currently, Brussels sprouts in California account for 77% of the country's total. After harvesting, the sprouts will be transported to the factory to be washed and packed. According to a USDA report, each year in the United States, they produce an average of about 33,000 tonnes of Brussels sprouts, and 80% of that is processed into frozen food. The last place we will visit in this video is a carrot farm in Michigan. Unlike the California carrot harvest, most of the carrot harvesting in Michigan uses machines instead of migrant workers. Currently, the area planted to carrots in Michigan is about 7,300 acres, much less than the 67,000 acres grown in California. The annual production of carrots harvested in Michigan ranges from 24 to 26 million pounds, about 8% of the national production.